Uh, commiserations on the result, Ian. Your thoughts on today's game? Um, again, I thought we've started the game quite sloppy. Uh, we had a game plan to go and press Gisborough really high because we know they like to play out from the back. Uh, and we didn't really do that. Um, we've conceded a goal early, which seems to be a, a bad habit we're in at the moment. Um, that's what we go 1-0 down. We then had little, little spells where we, we kept the ball relatively well, but didn't really threaten in behind enough. Gisborough played, defended down the hill with a high line, and we didn't get in behind them enough to make that line drop deep out and give with the space to play. Um, and then we found ourselves 2-0 down with an individual error. I mean, Dan's dropped a, dropped a cross in the, in the goal and we've gone 2-0 down, but he's, he's been good since he came to the club, so um, you can't really condemn them too much. Uh, what do you think the difference was between the first half performance and the second half performance? The second half performance, um, I got after the players a little bit at half time and that's not like me uh, because before the game we talked about playing with a high press and we didn't do it so I asked the players why they didn't do it at half time um, and second half they carried that instruction out so you probably saw yourself we were squeezed higher uh, we were forced to keep at the kick it rather than allowing them to play it across the back line numerous times um, and obviously that ruffled Gisborough a little bit who do like to try and play out from the back and that's a fourth consecutive defeat now Ian where do you think the team's going wrong? Thanks for reminding us. Um, we've got to get, we've just, we, we had a good team meeting and obviously during the week and what was said and that will remain private but we're, we've cleared one or two things up um, and we've, we've discussed about getting the spirit back that we had at the early part of the season and we've talked about getting back to basics a little bit. Um, I mean we've lost 3-0 today and two goals have been individual errors. Uh, we need to eradicate them because they're creeping into our game more and more. So getting back to basics, this league's unforgiving. You've got to work hard and we've just got to get back. When we've got the ball, moving it quickly. And when we haven't got the ball, make sure we get in behind the ball and we're difficult to beat. Uh, you mentioned the goals. What did you make of all three of them? Um, all three, well, every goal in football is avoidable. Um, the first one, okay, we've gave the ball away cheaply in midfield. They've broke, great cross. I thought we could have defended the cross better, but the lads got the header at the back post, back across the goalkeeper, which is always difficult. So I'll give them that as a good goal. Obviously, the second one's a, an error from the goalkeeper dropping across. Unfortunately, when goalkeepers make errors, it tends to end in a goal. And I'm really, really disappointed with the third one, especially in the second half when we've, we've kept the ball well and we've put them under some pressure. Um, for the ball to break from a, a corner and we've got three players up front and for none of them to react and for their centre back to step onto the ball and sort of counter attack us again, um, by all means the lad cut inside and finished it really well. The, the big disappointment is how easy they were allowed to get the ball. We've got to come and be first on that ball. How did you rate the two new players' performance today? I thought Steph in midfield was excellent. I thought he was really, really good. Um, he was tenacious when we didn't have the ball. When we did have the ball, he kept we moving. He kept the ball moving. Um, so I, I thought Steph in midfield was arguably probably were well, midfield three really of Steph, Blaney, and, and Davids. I thought were excellent today. Uh, centre back, he looked shaky a little bit. He looked a little bit clumbersome, but he, he's been out for five months in jet, um, and that's his first full game back in five months. And I think as the game went on, he steadied down a little bit and then probably got a little bit erratic towards the end of the game. But again, that's probably fatigue, having not played for five months. Finally, the team's morale is looking low. Uh, what are you going to be doing to ensure that the team's morale picks up and the team gets back to winning ways? Um, morale is low. Uh, confident and confidence in football is a massive thing. We spoke about this in the team meeting. Uh, we've came up with one or two things that we think can get the morale going again. Um, today's defeat will not help, although the second half performance is probably, we've got to probably take, as well as we've played in the second half, although we lost the second half 1-0, we've got to probably take as well as we've played and use that to try and build the confidence.